I'm going to show you some rice processing systems we developed for the small grower. And if you'll come over here to this thresher, this was the first thing that we needed. You've got to thresh your rice after you've harvested. This basically is run off a bicycle. It just spins. And the patty gets knocked off while this is spinning. And over here, we developed a, ta a uh, tabletop hauler. The principle is there's two rollers right here. One goes forward, one goes reverse, the rice gets pinched, and the hulls get knocked off. This back over here is our uh, drive belt, and to keep it less expensive, we've just cut it off of an inner tube. So it goes through this two-quart funnel. There's some sandpaper here, draws down the patty, it hits here, and it drops it into our little slot in between here. We have a slot down here. The rice and the patty will fall through down to our separator. And this separator, we've drilled holes throughout it so that the rice will fall through but not the patty. Then when that container is done, we take what didn't go through this separator and run it through again. Now you'll notice over here what we did was we took a 5 16 threaded rod We've attached it on this side that's not attached to our base plate. Then on this side, all of this is attached here. So we can use this set screw to adjust our gap. And at all times, this is always pulling it in. But if too much rice gets in, it'll let it flex open a little bit. So using this hauler, we are able to do the rice that's over here on the table. And what we have is... A long grain rice that we got from the USDA, we, our, our separator won't work with this. So here's what this looks like. So that's a long grain rice. This actually is called patty because it still has the husks on it. And running it through time, three times without a separator, we got it to this level, which is well into the high 90s of uh, percent. And over here, some farmers in Vermont have donated rice for us to work with and then this is what rice looks like when it's actually on the plant and you have to use the thresher to get it off of there. So we ran this rice that you see here three times through our hauler by hand and this came out of the container below the separator and above it is what was left on top of the separator. So this would get run through again the next time someone goes to uh, haul some rice. So to wrap it up, we've got a tabletop hauler that can do six to eight, maybe 10 pounds an hour, just with human power. And the separation rate looks acceptable. Thanks.